Hey everybody, Trigion here back with some more Budokai Team Cage 3. Alright, let's get to it. Cell opens a martial arts competition, the Cell Games, so he can enjoy the ultimate fight. The first challenger is Goku. So it's you right off the bat, huh? I was hoping to save the most enjoyable for last. Come. Alright, so something I want to point out right now, which is kind of a nitpick, is that you can actually go outside the cell arena. For those who have watched the series, you would have seen that if any of the contestants in the cell games actually went outside the arena and touched the ground, they would lose. So that just kind of bothers me that they have it like that, but you know, like I said, that's just a nitpick. All right, so we have our first input here. Well, that should do it for warm-ups. Goku is indeed a skilled fighter. He seems to be one or two notches above the others. This guy's unimaginably strong. If I slip up even a little, he'll be finished off in an instant. All right, so Cell does have that kind of Raditz effect, the you can't make him flinch thing going on. So being in maximum power mode actually helps make him, you know, able to hit him. And I'm going to block that. That is quite a, bit of quite a bit of damage, even though I was blocking it. So, like I said, once the maximum power mode wears on, you see I'm not making him flinch. And he, I was punching him, but it didn't stop his grab there. So, you can dodge that. All right. So it goes in like a straight line to the side. I think it goes to the left or right. I'm not even sure how it comes from the right. I don't know. I would hate for this fight to end due to an out of bounds defeat. So let's remove that pesky little restriction from the rules. What do you think? I get it. You want to fight all out. And this is actually the third form of Goku. There is, well, there are actually three. It starts off with Goku early, which is in the Saiyan Saga, you know, and then there's Goku mid, which is Namek, and when you're fighting against 19, and then there's this one, which comes from the Hyper Alchemist, and they all have different movesets and abilities. I think the first, or the last two, you know, mid and this one, actually both have Super Command Man, but right now I'm actually going to use his ultimate, which is Instant Command Man, because that's about when the series where he used it, right before the next scene that comes up. So I'm going to actually shoot some key blasts. If he doesn't have an after him, John is actually going to hit him. And he doesn't, so there we go. All right, now we're going to go with the next scene. Once this clears up. Alright. I did that because, you know, they don't have a scene for it. And I feel like it was appropriate. So this is actually one of the fights you can actually lose in. And it progresses the story. So if I lose one of the next prompt comes up, which I think triggers the next scene. So, whichever comes first, we'll see. It's kind of like with the... Tien and you know Nappa fight and the Goku vs. 19 except I don't think those actually had inputs for you to progress you know you just had to straight up lose or win and it was difficult to win because of the fact that they had they, you know you did so little damage but here's our input once he stops you have the strength of a little girl Goku why don't you pop one of those sensu beads I give up I surrender I realize how strong you are. There's no way I can win. Goku, do you realize what those words mean? Well, it's not if there isn't anyone left to fight, right? All right, so now our point is Gohan in his Super Saiyan form. This isn't the same one as from Namek, like with Goku, he has other forms. This is actually referred to as Team Gohan. And his base form also has different things, but I can't transform or revert into a different form while in story mode. You can only do stuff like that in dual mode or wherever else. But, so basically, this is the only form you're available to right now. And he has Super Masenko, that one, Chao, Red, Suki, Tsurugeki, I think. I probably pronounced that wrong, but basically, it's basically like a homing attack. That's probably what I'm going to finish him off with, because I just... Uh, it just feels like it's appropriate. I don't feel like finishing him off with Super Command Man, which is his ultimate I'll show up right now. And, yeah, cause I, if I tried to beam struggle with him, he probably wouldn't obey. You know, because in terms of, like, what I want him to do. Because 
You know, the air can sometimes be stubborn. I'm beginning to understand why my dad said that I'm the only one who could defeat you, Cell. Ever since I was little, whenever I flew into a rage, I'd lose my mind and start fighting with amazing power. So I'm sure that Dad is taking that into account. Did you really think you'd scare me off with that little story? You're stupider than you look! Oh, now I'm really gonna take you off. Whatever it takes, little man! It's like if you try and fire from a distance, you have to actually get to a good distance because if they're too close, then you won't have time to react. And they don't always just want to beam struggle, sometimes they want to get in your face. So, it's hard to coordinate that, but I just prefer to use the good old, you know, melee. It kind of, it's a cutscene type super, or it's a thing, so. I'll show that off when we get to that point, but I'm just going to lower his health enough that, you know, it'll finish him off. And I triggered his counter, but that didn't really do any damage, I don't think. It probably did something, but it didn't, it wasn't noticeable. So he's getting pretty low, and I think I have a man with full power, so I can go all the way to maximum. I mean, so I'm gonna just mash my A button, and just wail on him. If I can get behind him, that would be ideal. Because of the fact that after a certain amount of hits, after you mash him a certain amount of times, while well, in this, when, you know, they're facing you, like, you know, you're in the front, they'll be able to guard. So that's why I'm doing it like that. Alright, think about, if you power up while you know the... The lower key icon, you know, it's on the, where the energy bars where it's grayed out. If you power up just in a blue status, that goes away. So that's a good way to get rid of that. You know, if you go into like a state where it triggers it, like you can use a buff and it's like a negative side effect. You just power up to blue bar status and then you can go back into maximum power and fiber ultimate. Because if you do that, when, you know, if you fire off when you have it, then you're going to keep it and you'll start with nothing and have to build up from there. But I think this is about it. I'm just going to lower him just a bit more. I don't know how much damage it does, which is why I want to lower him. And he's well me around, but that's okay. Just trying to get him low enough. And that should be good enough. He stop guarding. There we go. This should be good. It's not climatic if you don't finish him off with it. So I wanted to lower him enough. Oh, you're a stubborn one. Apparently, your pain alone won't bring your anger to a boil. So, how about we move on to your friends, then? N no don't Alright, now we have that scene done. And we'll be able to show off what we'll be doing next time. Once we get past that, it'll not go on explodes. Alright. So I'm just going to get to the saving feature here. Because yes, you want to save your game. It's very important. Alright. So, next time we'll be doing Gohan Explodes. As you can see, there's Gohan in his Super Saiyan 2 form fighting the Cell Jr. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. and I hope you enjoyed. And have a good day, night, or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Tragulon, out.